In this video tutorial, we will be demonstrating setting up a simple plate layout for engraving on a rotary mechanical engraver in Gravastyle 9. We will demonstrate how to set up the overall plate dimensions and margin values and simple text editing on the plate layout. To start in Gravastyle 9, you'll see plate dimensions in the top section of the material and machining definitions window that pops up automatically when you first open the software. The number values that you see by default are determined by the machine model that you have loaded into Gravastyle. In this particular video I have our M20, our small mechanical engraver, uh, set up as the default machine. Uh, which gives roughly a 4 inch by 4 inch engraving area. So in this video tutorial we'll be setting up a simple plate layout for a name badge uh, which is a pretty typical application for this uh, style model engraver. So the first thing we have to do is we have to put in the dimensions of the actual uh, name badge that we're working with. In this case we're actually going to engrave a 3 inch by three quarter inch tall plate. So I put those dimensions in and then I come down to my margin values. You'll see automatic margins is selected by default and that will take 10% of the value of the plate dimensions and apply it to the margin values. In this case I want to decrease that margin value to give me more engravable space on the actual badge. So I'm going to select the second option here, and that is identical margins uh, according to the left margin. So whatever value I set up for my left margin here, it will make the right top and bottom the same. So I'm going to change this to 0.1. We'll just leave it at 0.1. And at this point, I could hit check to OK this, and it will draw it out on the screen. Um, if you needed to, for some reason, if your particular uh, badge had a logo on the, on the left side, then you could uncheck both of these boxes, and you could come in and edit each one of these individually. So I could make the left margin, say, uh, one inch. So it would accommodate... Uh, the logo that's already on the badge. Uh, in this case, I'm just working with a with a blank badge, so I'm going to leave it at 0.1 inch all the way around. All right. Now I can click on the second tab here on the material machinings window, and I can set up the machine that I'm going to um, output to. Uh, if you have more than one machine set up on the PC. Uh, and I can also set up the orientation. Um, most of the time, uh, the orientation is going to be, like you see here, left to right. Um, but in some cases, you may have to rotate a piece 90 degrees to hold it in the vise better. Uh, in that case, you can, you know, use one of the uh, appropriate icons here to rotate the, the job 90 degrees. So I'm going to put that back to normal. Um, and then you've got your origin setting. Uh, the M20 uses a vise and the vise is typically uh, the center of the vise is what you go off of uh, for the origin setting. So we're going to leave that as is right now. Um, and then you'll see uh, down here, we're doing flat engraving. We're not doing cylindrical engraving. All right. So now when I hit check, that will um, produce the three by three quarter inch tall plate that I programmed in. And you'll see I'll ha I have a 0.1 margin. So the dotted line represents the margin value I uh, programmed in. And the solid black line is the actual uh, badge itself. Now at this point, I'm, I'm ready to basically enter in the text that I want on the badge. Uh, but first, if you look up here, we have our text toolbar. All right. So you've got uh, your font style here, 
which is uh, a drop down. And you'll notice there are uh, basically three different folders to work off of here. Uh, the Gravi Gravitech fonts folder has all the fonts that Gravitech provides. You can purchase these um, with the software. Um, there are different packs. Uh, font pack zero comes standard with the software, uh, but there are uh, four other packs that um, you can choose to purchase. Uh, and each one of those packs have, has a different set of fonts in it. Uh, and you can request a, a catalog to view those to see if a font pack, um, you know, might work for you. Um, typically, um, Grav Gravitech fonts are where you find the more decorative script type fonts, the multi-line fonts uh, that you see uh, engraved with a uh, rotary engraver. Um, with that said, there are also true type fonts. True type fonts are the fonts that are already loaded onto the PC, uh, any Windows uh, or uh, standard you know computer has these type of fonts in them. Uh, the true type fonts are the .ttf file extension fonts that are loaded will show up and be usable in GraviStyle. Um, the caveat with using a true type font in GraviStyle in rotary mode uh, for a mechanical engraver is that the engraver is only going to engrave the outline of the letter by default. Um, there is a higher level of our software that you can purchase called Discovery Max um, that allows you to do what we call a 2D fill where you can actually go in and tell the software to generate tool paths inside that text to actually clean out the whole letter and not just do uh, the outline. So that's something to keep in mind if you want to engrave uh, true type fonts with a mechanical engraver. Uh, in this example, we'll stick with the Gravitech font folder, and I'll just select a, let's go with a four-line Franklin here. All right, so I've selected my font, and then the font style, or height, character height, is located here, and this is an inch value right now. Uh, that's the default setting. Uh, you can change that uh, unit setting in the options of the software, if you'd like, uh, by hitting F10. Uh, and there are several other defaults that you can change in there as well. So I'm going to drop this down. Remember our tag or, or name badge height is only uh, 3 quarters of an inch, and we've got a 0.1 inch margin all the way around. So let's change this to... Let's drop it down to quarter inch, and then we can type in a name here. We've got John Doe. All right. Now, so if we were good at, with this, we could go ahead and send this to the engraver. But let's say we wanted a second line on this badge, so I can hit Enter to do so, and that will generate another line down below. In this case. I want to go ahead and drop down the font size to make it smaller. So we'll say 0.185. Okay. And we'll say he is the uh, president. Okay. Now, at this point, if I wanted to change something, just like a word processor, I would have to click and highlight that uh, if I want to change it whether it be font size, font style, um, adding an underline, whatever the case is, you got to highlight what you want to change. So in this case, I will, let's say I want to change to a different font. So I'll go down to, uh, let's see here. Let's just make this one a single line font. Okay. All right, so now let's say we wanted to send this to the engraver. All right, so I would go to the main toolbar across here, which you'll see a picture of the spindle, and that's the machining icon. All right, so when I click on that, that will bring up the machining screen. 
and you'll see I have the M20 uh, model machine selected. The vice was the machine center or center of the vice was selected as the origin. So uh, I'm going to position my name badge right in the center of my jigs uh, clamped in the vise. All right. Um, if I'm going to be engraving this with a diamond cutter, I can select the diamond drag option for the auto Z. Uh, that will uh, tell the machine to auto Z uh, or find the surface of the badge before it starts engraving automatically. So it makes it nice and simple. Um, this value right here, I usually set a little higher, anywhere from 0.12 to 0 0.15. And this controls how much it lifts up in between each letter and line or stroke in each letter. Uh, so we're not dragging in between. Um, and then we have our speed settings, our X and Y speed settings here. Uh, we can put that on medium or fast. Uh, the Z axis is the speed uh, of which the cutter is moving up and down uh, in and out of the material. So with a diamond on, say, a, a brass or nickel-plated uh, metal tag, we can go ahead and run these at, at full speed. Um, if we're using a rotating diamond, we would use the, um, the spindle motor. Uh, if we were using a drag diamond, we would X this out so the motor does not spin or the cutter doesn't spin. And then we could actually hit run to send the file to the machine. And um, that's pretty simple uh, run through on how to set up a name badge and send it to the engraver. You can hit uh, preview on this screen to give you a, a, a bird's eye look of the actual engraving area on the machine. Uh, it actually, if you zoom in, you can actually see uh, the dots where the cutter is actually going to start that particular line. All right. So if everything looks good there and you're good to go, you can run the file. And I hope this video tutorial was helpful.